Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you getting ready to do another cusp reading. That's right. Welcome, come on in, put your feet up, grab yourself a cup of coffee. Like I said, we're going to do these cusp readings. Mm. So before I get into that, Divine Squad, thank you. That's my loyal subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Mwah. Love it. Noobs, that's you. Brian of the channel. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine family, and... um. Uh, welcome. So, cusps. Cusps are basically the transitional period of time between two signs. And so those two signs we're going to do now, it's going to be Gemini Cancer. That's right. So if your birthday is June 17th through 23rd, those six days, it's a cusp transition. And uh, that's the cusp of magic. That's you guys. Gemini Cancer. Okay. So it's going to storm a little bit here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be like the first reading I've ever done. Maybe like a thunderstorm, but we shall see. Okay, so noobs, basically, I lay two cards out here to tell you your story, but not quite yet. And those two cards are your energy. That's the balance of your duality, your yin and your yang. Positive, negative, good and bad, right? You know what I'm saying? So, once we got that done, I will... Man, back talking a little bit. What the hell? Okay, 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 okay. So I lay cards out to tell you a story, right? And in those uh, cards, the story will be your message, right? And so at the end of the story, I will tell you two more cards, give you two more cards, whatever, however you want to call it. Uh, I lay two cards down at the end to close your energy, to close your duality, and send you on your way. Pretty easy. Kind of good. These are brand new cards, so bear with me. I might have to crunch them a little bit. They've been giving me a little bit of extra oomph. Chatty. See? Alright, I'm going to take those two because it looks like just two came flying right out. And that's going to be your energy now. Okay, so bottom is the top, top is the bottom. There you go. Page of Swords. Page of Swords, followed by the Ace of Wands. Okay, this is easy. Your energy now is that you are um, you're doing research, you're learning, you're studying, maybe going back to school, uh, those type of things to have a brand new start, right? Ace of Wands, brand new start, but passionately because Wands is your fire, your mojo, your drive, right? But it's a new idea, right? This is what I feel. I feel that you have this burning, burning um, idea within yourself that you've been studying for, you've been researching for, you've been learning for, right? Page of Swords. Okay, that's some pretty hot, like, mm, fire kind of energy, right? So, news, that's, that's the duality. That's the present now, not in the future or in the past, only for now. Get it? So here's your first card of the story. That's the hangman, okay? So something is holding you up, right? I'm not sure if it's yourself. I don't think so because this is your energy of the Page of Swords. So you are taking the necessary steps to do the research and to learn and get the knowledge. This is what I'm saying, right? Okay, so hangman, something is keeping you stuck, either yourself or something else. We're going to find that out right now. Well, Page of Pentacles. Okay. So it seems that what's keeping you stuck is what's keeping you stuck as being the Queen of Pentacles is that you are like feel like reluctant in a way like shy intimidated in a way even though this is totally opposite of this card but this is just what just snap like a rubber band okay let me get a little clarity here please thank you right <clears throat> ten of pentacles right that is what's holding you back your 
seeing your self worth and your full potential. Okay, the Queen of Wands is beautiful, intelligent, magnificent, very stable, right? It has a good, solid foundation. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles is complete abundance, but man, if you're like the Queen of Pentacles, then why are you going to go down on the Ten of Pentacles? It's not really that. It's more of you don't see the complete abundance that you already possess with the queen of pentacles this is why you were stuck you see yourself as this but you only think that you have that i don't know i wouldn't worry because this whatever this is yeah ace of wands that's big all right here we go next card seven of swords mm. okay You're running away from this shit, right? You're running away. Like, she's like, oh, my God, right? That's the keeping you stuck mode. You running away and turning your back on this. Uh, the way that you see yourself. I mean, you're completely abundant. You're stable, like... I guess you could get more stable, but, like, what the hell? You don't have to, like, bail on yourself in a way where, you know, you don't see yourself worth 100%. But, you know, what? There you go. Like, what are you sweating this for? Go for your passionate idea because it's going to really pay off. Ace of Pentacles, brand new start. In abundance, abilities, uh... That's the yellow brick road card. So follow the yellow brick road. You're being that way. You're going that way. For your big old coin. <laughs> Bank money. So now what I really see is that. If you like unstick yourself. Like get yourself out of this hangman mode. To really see yourself as the Queen of Pentacles and not uh, act kind of in a sense that you you know you you're only at the Ten of Pentacles. Boo, boo, this ain't gonna work. My idea isn't strong enough. Isn't isn't popular enough. Isn't good enough. And you're you're kind of like willing to just um, run away from this um, stability. But you, you, it almost looks like you're gonna run right into it no matter what. Even though she's running away from this idea that she sees herself as. Uh, she's still running away, but running towards the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, it looks like a win-win. So this is maybe what you needed or wished or hoped that it would be, you know, the biggest bank that you had. Like the biggest, baddest idea. Because it's a burning passion within you. Whatever this is. It's huge. And you got two cards. So bottom is the top. There you go. There's temperance. So you need to display a little bit of patience. A little bit of, uh, you know, chill out time. Find the balance within yourself to um, get that peace and harmony with this. Because this is what it's really asking for. And so with the Seven of Pentacles here, don't look back at it as this again. Meaning, like, don't say that you've invested in all this shit and it's not worth it. And then you start denoting your own self-esteem based off the progress. You're, you're expecting to reap this huge harvest past because you weren't seeing yourself as the Queen of Pentacles. Only as the Ten of Pentacles. So you were, like, running away to that, but you were running actually to your own complete abundance. So you took like this kind of pain, I guess, or whatever this anguish is that you get stuck about this mentality. Uh, you turn that pain, in a sense, into progress. So there you go. You're running towards this huge abundance. And don't just look back at it as like a worthless effort. No, because once you get this temperance and balance yourself and find that peace and harmony within you, Bad. Now you turn into the Empress. Wow. Empress. Beautiful card. Right. Abundant. Nurturing. 
motherly, giving, tender, all the love stuff, right? Mwah. Maybe this is what you needed. You needed to see the proof before the pudding or some shit like that. I don't know. But hit the like button and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Family. Appreciate it. So here comes the wheel. Ooh, that's a different card. Here comes the wheel. Right? So the wheel. Cycle, changing, ending, beginnings, endings, new. All new. Ace and an ace. That's double power. Here we go. High Priestess. Trust your intuition with this shit because you know why? It's really going to take off. Take off. Don't get back into this self-defeating energy of yourself being like, ah, uh, I'm not the best who I am and just all this kind of way, way, way me stuff. I mean, not saying it personally, like, to take it offense, but it's kind of what it is. You're the Queen of Pentacles and you see yourself as a 10. So, way, way, way. There you go. <laughs> That's your six, uh, five of Pentacles. Okay. So, no more being left out in the cold. No more, um... Feeling this way of being stuck and being hung upside down with a hangman because you, you've changed that for yourself. Your stability is changing. Um, now you're seeing all that glitters is gold, pretty much, because that's right underneath the Ace of Pentacles. There you go. Next card, which is the last card of the story. And so here's the Seven of Wands. Oh, yeah. So now you can defend yourself uh, internally. You won't have to like see yourself less than because now that you really took this burning idea that you've had and you've studied and did a lot of research about to let it transform into this now ace of pentacles, the yellow brick road, turning yourself into the empress. So now you're like, mm, baby, mm -hmm. trusting your intuition the whole time that the cycle of what you were stuck in is changing. For you to now change your ideas of your stability because you obviously had a stability issue in the beginning with feeling you're less than what you really are queen of pentacles ten of pentacles Shh. okay good so then once you change that it changes automatically because you're trusting your gut there's the the two of wands that's the last card So the juggling is over. You must decide this temperance. You must find the peace and harmony within yourself to let this unfold the way that it is. Okay? Because that two of wands is right underneath the temperance card. Thank you very much. Here comes your queen of wands. Boom. So, mm. queen of wands. Beautiful fiery passion is sitting on your throne very high up i mean you're still the the empress energy right but now you you engulf this queen of wands energy where you're just very smart about what your success is what is your new passionate uh very abundant start coming for you you process this you organize this you handle this all very well To let yourself be guided through everything, okay? That is, I don't know, man. It's like cruise control, right? But from the divine. And if you stay on his already built path, instead of thinking your free will over here, seeing your own abilities, your own worth, your own ideas, to trust in the divine, to let that blossom in yourself, to then see, pick up all the signs of uh, who you are, what you want to do, and how you're going to get there. So you're going to have to trust that light, the light within you and you. And that's it. That's it. That's the whole story. So, don't mind my dogs. It's all cool. Anyways, there's just other dogs running by. So that's basically it in a nutshell. That's your story. So I hope you all had a great day.
uh, yesterday and you're gonna have one today. And uh, when you go to work or you go to get your subway or some shit, tell everybody all about my channel. Tell them to subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. Noobs, don't forget, hit the like button if you didn't on the way in. Make sure you do it on the way out. So with that being said, peace and pray. See you all again.